Or you can also think your body from the elbows. This is always uh, very personal if you are rather the type isolating the movement or also always going into the whole body. What are we missing? Uh, let's try elbows and knees because if we wear quadri quadripods, or it is called this animal with four legs, then arms and legs would be the same. So what about moving from or the elbows and knees? <laughs> this is a little bit like head and pelvis. Okay, so you you get the idea. Keep moving, and maybe. Um, just move. You could also switch on music as you are muted. Everybody could switch on music. And um, see to make kind of circular movements. I could circle my arm, my elbow, my pelvis, my head, my chest, my knee, my leg, my foot, um, my sternum, um, my shoulder, again, my elbow, my head, my nose, my nose, my nose, my, nose, my ear. Uh, my pelvis. So find um, find a way of kind of circling for the body part that um, is easy for you. Can be small, can be big. And then while you're just moving around, again, you could be the type that uh, thinks, now I move my elbow, then I move my head. Or you just move. And while you are moving, analyze, ah, this is my elbow, ah, my knee, my pelvis, oh, this was my head, maybe I'll do it again. And see if you can kind of fix like three, four, five movements. So keep repeating. While I'm talking, I didn't uh, take care what I'm doing, and I see, uh -huh, I'm always doing something like this, would be elbow, knee, knee, shoulder, elbow, knee, knee, shoulder. And see if you can catch a certain movement pattern of yours, and you don't have to fix it like very perfect, like ballet, exactly, but kind of find a way of flow or body parts you like to move in in combination or in in a, in a one after the other. I'm just we're looking a little bit. Yeah, and then just try to fix it for yourself. You don't have to perform it for the others. Just see what is it. And try to remember, you can simplify it. So I'm now not really circling every, uh, anymore, but I can kind of repeat this movement pattern. It has a certain feeling, it's for, in my body, it's going side, down, up to the other side, side down, up to the other side. So maybe you can analyze what is your pattern like. Change my pattern one. And really feel it or analyze it with your body and see if you can repeat it. Do it a few times, just keep repeating and see how it feels. Maybe it's also like a color and emotion. Um, uh, like a pathway through the body. Good, good. And then maybe you can stop for a moment if you like take a few steps or just stop, shake it out. And then just come back and see if you can repeat it. If you can kind of do it again, it might be a little bit different, but if you remember this uh, swing to this side, the down, down, up, it's kind of it's more upper body, more lower body, or whatever. So, what kind of repeating it? And when you try it, you can again let go of it and just, um, yeah, let, let you let the mind drop so you can shake it out, or go for a walk, drink something, and just remember how did you how did you remember this movement pattern? So I think, or what I feel is that it's in my body and that it's something like it's in the space. No, it's again body in space. Uh, it would be different if I do it in another space because I, now it was going to the left, down and up to the right. But I see this wall, I see the heating, 
as it is well so i think we often unconsciousness in an unconscious level um, orientate um, in the space around and if you put it in another space then it's actually difficult but sin is kind of in the in the body felt knowledge okay any any uh i don't know comments questions ideas thoughts to to that part in this way of how to remember or how you remembered or did you remember something did you find something like a movement pattern or a short blip? no <laughs> not at all okay but mine is simple <laughs> Yes. I yep. just have like these, which I have seen like in uh, a dance video. <laughs> Did you remember something? Or could you repeat kind of uh, something? Um, me? Yeah. Well, um, I, I, I um, I, I have to say it, um, I, I practice, um, yoga regularly and this feels uh, really similar to it okay. i mean it it uh, it feels like uh, i i uh, i discovered uh, muscles uh, I, I never knew i was there <laughs> it was good to loosen up because we just sit like in one position i would say it's like a uh, radio taiso level up <laughs> Cool. Well, I uh, just talk to you because the, I see the four of you, so that's why I talk directly to you. Yeah, well, did, could you remember the part? Could you remember it? I tried. I tried. I okay. tried some rotating movement, so maybe this fits. Uh, <laughs> but but maybe everybody could could kind of feel that um, even if you don't remember, of course. I mean, if I if I had to write a song or something, a music, then I wouldn't remember everything. But I could remember maybe a kind of a rhythm, if it's quicker or slower, or if it's more up or, or down. So this is this kind of you remember something in the body, like you remember where the light is. <laughs> I just, just see it like more in an uh, autonomic uh, uh, thing. So that, uh, I, of course, I have to give like the impulse, but then it's like going through um, in the anatomic way. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. now I want to do coming back to form and from the inside. This was kind of from the inside. I mean, I gave you this input, move body parts more um, kind of circular. But um, you let your body move, kind of. <laughs> you try to catch up what it does. And of course, you can have a certain concept, but, but still it's kind of, it's coming from the body. Now, try the following. Still, um, this is why I started with this kind of isolations. You can choose your name, and if you don't like your name, or if it's too short or too long, choose another word. And you choose for every, uh, letter in your in your name like for andrea it's a and d r e a you take one body part and you choose you can do this in any language and i propose it in english like a like arm n like nose d like what did i have diaphragm r like rib or rib cage um e like elbow a like s for example so it doesn't have to be a real anatomy you can also say upper arm or lower leg so if you don't have anything uh, in and of course in any language and then um to propose uh, proposition you can say like we stay um just with moving if you feel safe with that then i could say ah uh, mm, what was d d d i should d d diaphragm uh diaphragm is maybe just breathing Hold and R was the ribs and E elbow and um S. Or if this is just too abstract for you, you can even make the structure more narrow, and then you have so A arm and you write in space an A. And I would use to do it in cursive 
because then it's more round. So like, ah, sorry, it's not that repeat. Now it's the E, and I take the arms again. Maybe this is more, more clear. And of course, it's not always to the front, like I demonstrated, you can do this in any direction. Just try this once, <laughs> it's a bit complicated. So you write your name or another word, if you like, don't like to write your name. Find body parts, you can write it down. Also. <laughs> I can help you with German and a little bit with English. Um, and then just, uh, you can talk to you. Right it. And if I just stay with the elbow, I can do the E here, I could do it here, here, I could do it upwards, downwards, so in any direction. Mm -hmm. And then you will see what happens. <laughs> and if you can, you can remember it, but I think it takes a while. Mm -hmm. Just start. I, I watch for the beginning, or maybe write your name first, and then, no, I mean, not like in chat, but on a paper or somewhere, and find body parts. Or, or if you're good in body parts, it could go immediately. Uh, yeah, I, so I'm going to go for my abbreviated form. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Cuba, four okay. letters. So K, I found like Ni, right? Mm -hmm. Colano, Polish. Mm -hmm. Then U, you, somebody has idea of U, body of part starting with like U. Under, under, Yungtwas, under. <laughs> Or U U Who are you? Are we? You, you. I mean on the uterus, but it's not the food for men. So it's Udo in Polish, upper part of the leg, let's say. Yeah, of course, exactly. And then I got B, so I don't know, back, let's say, my back. Mm -hmm. And then A will go for arms. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Everybody see. And um, if it's too complicated to, or, or you don't like to write the letter with this body part, then just move somehow. But move the right body part in the right order to write your name. Mm. And when you when you once through, through, do it again. Do it a few times to see if you can somehow remember. I mean, you can always repeat your name so you know the body part, but maybe you don't remember what you did with this body part. So see if you can again, of course, simplify it to be able to kind of repeat, not performing, but kind of repeating. I forgot mine already.
How's it going? Good. So maybe let's just uh, like three times. Let's repeat everybody three times um, in a row, like a performance together. So we film it. If, if you capture it, like, <laughs> so far. if we make a mistake, never mind. We'll try again. Okay, let's go. Oh. Whenever you finish your three times, just stop. So we... Cool. Good, good, good. Um, how was this? <laughs> um, so, but what I'm interested in, because my feeling all this is, I actually can switch. But this. It's that, that the way how you remember it. It's a totally different uh, kind of different part of the brain. And it might be um, worse when you are a dancer because I'm used to just not just but go from the body. And when you start writing and you have to, I mean, it's easy to remember your name. <laughs> you have to think, <laughs> for most of us, you have to think of your name. So if you think of a word and you have to, Per, divided in these single capitals, that uh, single letters, that somehow it's not difficult, but it's not the way we normally think when we say it's me, it's uh, I'm Andrea. And then you have to remember which body part it is. And it's not just like before I have this feeling of down and up, left and right, and arms, legs, head, but it's really the. So could you could you um, experience this? That is different, yeah. different way. Yeah. It's like learning a new language. Like I'm mm -hmm. currently learning um, Polish, and I also have to remember, like the, um, like for example, like counting. Mm -hmm. I have to. Remember. Right. That's a cool comparison. Yeah. That's right. Because you but, use. Mm -hmm. Different um, brain areas, but also like maybe different tongue movement and stuff. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. whole body oh. is also mm -hmm. language. It's also a little bit like programming or something like this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's a, a graphic design lecture also because we are talking about letters and, and words and, and body uh, body letters. Yeah. yeah, also nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good assumption. This is graphic design department. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for exactly. sure. Exactly, yeah, yeah. exactly. And yeah. I like it because, um, mm -hmm. I mean, very often I, I write, um, so like uh, A, like ARM, have a lot this this version, um, and it texts that, that, that are like a matrix behind the choreography. Nobody knows it, nobody understands, of course, but it's still in there. And and you could of course if it's arm you could this very do this very big or through space or the arm is pulling you into space or you do it very small and mm -hmm. and this is I mean it's, it's everybody personal but it's always kind of connected to the text in a certain way so yeah. the first time we we did it it was in a in a in a company I was dancing with and Marcus was actually doing the the how do you call this uh, visuals and and scenery scenery. Stage, setting. stage setting exactly, and um, it, it was called Remember the Yellow Submarine, so it was based on all these <clears throat> yellow submarine uh, ideas and the film, the movie, and um, actually, more or less, all parts of the phrases we danced as a company was taken out of the text All You Need Is Love, 
And so we had this pattern from body parts, and then we we were taking parts of it and moving them in space. We moved them on the floor and tried to do the same, but on the floor we do, did it with a partner. So everything out of this text, and this was the matrix. And that's uh, I like this very much. And I often take parts of this idea in a piece. And the other way, of course, if you write, even write the the letters in space, then again, I mean, if you don't do it too obviously. No, nobody will see it, but but you know it coming out of of this word or whatever. And I always think it's very in interesting how this remembering works different because when I rehearse something like that, it really takes very long. And normally, it only starts after the general rehearsal or even after the first performance that it gets just a phrase in my body without thinking thinking the letters I'm writing. So it's 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 really totally different. And I thought somehow this this matches to the to to this question of coming from inside or from the form. And of course in dance it's often a mixture of both because mm. um, I thought what is from inside like the, the my improvisations with the branches where, where I showed the video. This is uh, from the inside and, and from kind of this feeling and kind of feeling with the branch and the body in space. But of course, because I capture it after a while and know what looks good, good, whatever that means. But um, so, so I mean, you can't totally take it away unless you're doing something like authentic movement. But um, yeah, but but still, often I think it's coming more from the inside and from a body felt knowledge. And sometimes it can also be interesting to really come from the form. And I don't know, I don't mean something like ballet, but it's staying in kind of a contemporary artistic dance that that you have a shape, a form, a, a person, something that you can feel with this coming from inside or just keep it as a like a container. Um, also, um, yeah, it's again something like a matrix, something that's just there. And um, um, we want to show a little performance that uh, that we did together um, because uh, it, we, we I think I was talking about that before that we in all vocations and everywhere we go we have costumes and masks and so and um, as I'm the dancer normally I danced and performed but at a certain point we changed roles. <laughs> And Marcus started to perform too, and I was taking pictures. And um, somehow out of this, it happened that I, we thought it would be cool to to do it together. And some little background stories that in Vienna, or not only in Vienna, but also not in Vienna, um, it's very in fashion in in the dance performance scene that you don't see that someone is a dancer. And it's not about really not about ballet, but you should be like a person from the street and then dance like that. And then I was jealous because Marcus can do that and I can't because whatever I do, you always see that my body is experienced and kind of connected. And we took uh, so like a, um, a character, a very well-known character that we filled with something totally different, also with new forms that are not kind of related to this character or this costume. Um, and actually, we also had some, I don't know if we were dancing letters, I think, also some letters. And also, um, like, do you start, uh, how do you start the day? Like, I, I just remember one move was muesli, muesli, muesli. So doing your porridge, steering around and switching on the water or taking a shower, or stuff like that. But in abstraction, yeah. but actually the remembering process was quite similar because then you had to remember, okay, I'm eating, I take the shower, I'm going out, I hit something, I follow or something, and it was kind of this story. Uh, do you have the link, Marcus, or should I look for it? Please share it for me. Yeah. Um, so this is the thing on the website. And I would like to see the. What did we say? The first one, huh? the dance, mm -hmm. Marcus. Mm -hmm. Yep. The dance we wanted to see. Yep. So this is the link for this. Video. So you can either just 
take this one on. on, oh. the, on the OK. Maybe let's let's share it. I uh, try to share it for all of us. Let's see if it will work. So, um, I have to go back again. Mm -hmm. We need also the sound. So sorry. So so now it's here. And it's called Spider-Man's Christmas Holidays, Episode 1, The Dance. It's five years ago. This was mostly in the, in the, in the, in the Christmas holidays also. We produced this uh, sort of, of, of series, uh, like, a, yeah, like, like something, uh, like like clips like uh, episodes yeah small stories uh, from inside of the spider-man's family we uh, used this morph suits here me is the bigger one andrea is the smaller one uh, and behind you have a really small one a puppet of a spider-man this was is our child the the little spider-man and so let's let's start
So, yeah, here we are back again. Um, yeah, this was, I think, five, six years ago, we worked with Spider-Man and this uh, also ironically um, um, metaphors for stop Syria for also some silly and and crazy and 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 stuff uh, which it's also like a, a play which uh, we we develop together as as figures we know each other as persons but changing into figures changing into comic figures changing into a a, a well-known all around the world well-known figure as spider-man uh, and, and something like kitschy also or, or all this uh, this this these tools we use to to develop ourselves new to find new possibilities of our own perspectives how are we seen from outside when we are doing this because we are inside this puppet figure and afterwards we are watching the videos and also having fun again or trying to find some 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 layers uh, laying deeper behind the scene or something like this. What 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 is this meaning? Yeah. So I just put you the link from with we also did this on stage. I mean not like a like a theater stage, but um, as a performance. But uh, you don't see so much there. But and and we fixed uh, like twenty minutes because the other part was. I mean of course we rehearsed these these movements that were fixed. Some of them. And the rest was improvising with, um, I think it, it was like actually like, like um, is it Max Reinhardt who said that that acting should be like playing children, but in, in this severity and in this clearness, but but actually this, this playfulness. And it was a little bit like that, that we say, okay, today let's do more like um, we're sleeping and then waking up and something is happening. Or today let's have a uh, quarrel and, and, and a fight or something. And then just improvising. And then in the video, I cut it with, with different music to really find the storyline. And the, for the performance, we just fixed uh, around 20 minutes. Oh, the performance was at the festival in Vienna in the, in the old cinema place in the window, front window of the cinema place. Yeah, you could watch us from outside when you walked uh, or passed by or there was an audience inside the cinema in this uh, foyer of the cinema. Uh, who was watching us doing this? Uh, yeah, maybe crazy uh, stuff or this performance as Spider-Man's family. Yeah? Nice adventure. So as you see, it's 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 this 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 idea of who are we, who am I, who is Andrea, who is uh, Cuba, who is Min. Um, we are trying to find find more questions than solutions, and the solutions are these art pieces, these artworks, this path of always finding new ways of interpreting our daily life, also our daily routine life. What does this mean? How can we fill it? We can fill it in real space as you see it. We can also change ourselves in real space into maybe virtu virtual fig figures. Or we can also work with virtual reality to also develop uh, maybe similar spaces or other spaces in VR. So this maybe is also the the bridge we try to find also solutions in between. We also perform or had pe performed it for ourselves in the mountains of Austria, near the Großglockner or somewhere at 3000 3, meters. We dressed into these morph suits and, and tried to work in the nature, in the wonderful, it's the, the, the best stage you can imagine is nature. Also, when you're in the mountains, you can never find such a strong impact of space and and stage design as a nat as a natural uh, uh, space in nature. So this maybe some Berlin, Max, huh? You started in Berlin. Berlin also, yes. Uh -huh. Do you have a link from Berlin also, maybe? OK, 
Okay, let's see. Andrea. Was war das? What is this, Andrea? Ja, yeah. okay. So. Yes. We have endless Spider-Man. <laughs> yes. Maybe in the let's mountains, share it. So you in the mountains, me in the mountains, you in Berlin. Here in Berlin, yeah. Me somewhere in the hotel. Never ending Spider-Man. This is the, the huge Treptow, Treptow uh, uh, Denkmal um, remembering place for the Russian, Russian memorial. Memorial, yeah. The Russian freed uh, Europe and they built up this huge, uh, like a fantasy place, like from a computer game when you are there in reality. It, it, it feels like something totally out of this world because it's so huge. It's so unbelievable also from this architecture uh, structures that you have the feeling you are somewhere in between, not not on this planet. It's really crazy. And each year the Russians or now uh, Mr. Putin uh, is uh, traveling to Berlin on this Memorial Day and they had a huge celebration there since the ending of the Second World War. And I tried to play this uh, Spider-Man there to 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 make a mont a real a real montage. It could also be produced with Photoshop, as we know. But no, this is reality. This was reality. This is also a mem memory from from ourselves to to this place. What does this mean? Maybe for Russians, it's a it's a no go. It's maybe something. It's too too provocative when you show this uh, Russian national nationalist because it's an American figure. It's an ironic figure from from super the enemy. Yeah, yeah. superhero. Yeah. It was crazy to do it there. It was nearly spontaneous. Were people trying to talk to you? Uh, not really. They only looked. Some of them also took their handies or their cameras and took pictures. But nobody uh, interacted with me directly. Well, it's it's um, especially in Berlin. I did various costumes in Berlin and nobody talks to you because they are all artists. So it's rather they look away like mm -hmm. I'm not that right. <laughs> Not okay. <laughs> but also what I found interesting is somehow like this inside outside. Of course, if you're wearing a mask or this morph suit where your face is covered, nobody can uh, recognize you. But um, maybe it's also because I'm used to, but I felt much more exposed when I'm taking pictures than when I'm performing. Mm. And I thought this is quite interesting because I, I could be seen I, and, and I if if somebody came, then they would talk to me because I'm taking picture. Marcus is performing, so they wouldn't talk to him. And mm. same the other way around when I'm performing, I feel safe in my costume. I define my space again and I just do it. But it's being out there, it's really strange. Mm. And also the camera or the, the person taking pictures or filming gives you a space, a safe space mm. somehow. Mm -hmm. It's only scary the starting point a little bit to decide, OK, let's do it. Mm. So, but when you are in the role, when you are in the costume, after two minutes, you are somewhere else. You are you're the figure you are playing. Yeah? Mm. It's also an, a nice experience to to try also for you as, 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 as students, maybe to try something like this. Yeah because you get a different also solution uh, or perspective for yourself. Mm. How fast it's changing. That yeah, you... I don't know in which class this was. I think it was somewhere in school. We also had kind of like performing and they said that um, it would be actually like interesting to see like if we um, wrap like a mannequin into like a carpet and then just walk um, around the town square. Yeah. And, like, uh -huh. how, uh -huh. And have you done it? 
No, I think um, most people didn't want to do something like yeah, this. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other opinions or other impressions or associations? There's the baby Spider-Man. Yes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't aware. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. Why? Why have you? Uh, what have you chosen, uh, right? The, the 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 Berlin location. What what drives you in 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 the memorial? Mm. Well, but, right. Mm. Well, well, I'm coming from a Soviet yeah. bloc. Yes. We also yeah. have this yeah. uh, and and uh, where in 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 Vienna there is also right in the center there is this big monument. Yes, but it's not so impressive for me yeah. or for us because I we know it also to to it's yeah, it's, it's all day life for us. There, yeah. is, there is one big in Warsaw, but not that big than than the Berlin. Yes. I guess yes. the Berlin is the symbol, right? Uh, the big yeah. Berlin. It's so crazy because it's there outside for, a little bit outside from Berlin in this park region, in this nature. And then you enter the space and it's really feeling like you are on another planet or something like this. So this is one point of uh, of decision. Another point is also that we were in Berlin, I think 10, 20, 30 times. Uh, we like the city and we we always try to find new places in Berlin, also as stages, as symbols for the city, as also a symbol for Europe or something like this, because in Berlin you can see so many uh, impacts of the last 100, 200, 300 years, but mostly of the last 70 years yeah. from the Second World War till uh, today. Also this uh, idea of divided cities is interesting to work with because it's still divided a little bit you can mm -hmm. see it you can feel it in some in some yeah, ways and then are these huge memorial places this huge crazy also like comic uh, when you when you when you are a designer or a comic designer maybe this is an a vision or a, a drawing of out of a, of a sketch here out of a story of spider-man because mm -hmm. it's so so weird it's so you you can't believe uh, when you haven't seen it that this is, this exists as a place as a memorial place as a place where is written there are seventy thousand uh, dead Russian are, are are buried there at in this region also yeah. it's it's a holy place also it's a place of of ghosts maybe or something like this and so we tried to come with a comic ghost with this uh, spider-man figure with this this strong figure of black and white because spider-man is the good one also america is always the good one in our our storyline from the west side yeah. in russia spider-man is the ugly one i think so the bad the, the, the imperial but, uh, but Marcus, emperor i would i would say i mean this is this part of, of um, how to say, yeah, of storyline, this is more like on a sub, kind of subconscious level. Like it's a, it's an energy, it's a flow, it's, um, it's an atmosphere that, that we are expecting on a certain place. But also we have, every year we went there, we have certain costumes that are just around or that we found in the internet when we just looked, what could we take? And sometimes we had and used it before. And then I would say, not in a negative way, but in, in this, in this uh, like in the cities or also in the mountains a little bit, we, we start from the form, but not only the form of the body and the costume, but the architecture. So you have a certain, um for for once it was more like like um these these lost places like like old houses or supermarkets and then a certain costume and then i i'm looking for a 
I mean, this is maybe not so much Marcus, but me, I'm looking for a certain movement quality or movement patterns or, or kind of lines with this costume and which architecture would fit together or the other way around. So it, it, this is kind of a formal um, uh, approach. And then you feel it with, with the moment and how, how what you feel in this area. And actually every, every, every space has an energy. And I think we were once talking about that. Um, and I know somebody else said it is like like a church, like uh, an actual church, but also an old, old church, uh, ruins of church. You still feel certain energy, and um, also in, in ruins, in in lost spaces, or or in this memorial, whatever. It's, it's always an energy that makes then this this figure move somehow in in its pattern. I would say, because mm. when you browse through my website, there are a lot of. Uh, Performance mm -hmm. performances in, in in Berlin with different costumes. Mm -hmm. um, sort of stage stages, natural stages, yeah. real yeah. stages, which are the things with the horse. You, you can well. work with, yeah. There are nearly no limitations. Nearly. This is so so great to do it. It's a, it's a strong way of feeling also freedom or something like this, or feeling something of individuality somewhere on some space, place you haven't been before. Playing with it. Also, when we are talking about performance and theater, <coughs> the whole the whole space is for us a theater. We we are looking and trying to to arrange ourselves in these spaces to build up a, a small sketch from scratch, like, like something like this to improvise. And when we are going maybe to a new city we try to find before some ideas also some figures and also to make a research about the places there mm -hmm. but in berlin we have been so often so we know it really really good and it's also similar to a vr game because the more you are in the game, the more you know also the special places there, the Easter eggs or something uh, we call it in this uh, uh, term. You have also Easter eggs in Berlin. Awesome. We like this idea, yeah. No. So, uh, so I would ask uh, the part, I mean, the students, although mm -hmm. I'm also a student mm -hmm. in the University of Life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, if you have to choose your location, what would that be? I, mm -hmm. I don't know. If I mm -hmm. have to choose my location, I, I would go to, to like, like mountains, maybe. No, I live in the mountains. It's, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I would like to do it there. I try maybe in a swimming pool or something. Okay. Um, uh, I think uh, I would like to be in in a uh, in a plane, <laughs> uh, um, a, a meadow, a meadow, um, and the Budley. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so, 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 somewhere, somewhere with the with a lot lot of um, clear space and uh, grass. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would like to be near ocean, uh, ocean, jungle, and uh, a lot of ruins. Ocean, uh, yeah. Hard to find in Poland. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> in Austria, even harder to find the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. I also think there's a big difference between uh, 
nature and architecture when when you perform there so yeah, in yeah nature yeah. i mean of course depending if it's mountains or plain or whatever but um it, for me at least it's always more like we call it einschreiben and there's just no good english word but it's it's this merging and getting kind of one with nature or you mm. or unless you want to be really something very different like the like the plastic <laughs> plastic part in nature yeah, but in the same part of nature recently. <laughs> but in architecture it's more it's more about forms in, yeah. in a closer way then and the... also i mean there's so many men and many people even if they're not around but it's it's, it's this human mm. you are yeah. that's public spaces very mm. always mm. that there are people yeah and then then Think about if it has to be like public context, what it would be. So I would go. Oh, oh I would go there because there is a there is this little town near my village, and it's like you know th this type of what is called in German bad bad something, right? So they got like water drinking area or having baths. Uh, so it's it's called Ustrani, right? So and there is a spot when when people doing their reconvalescence, they they drink this special water. So I would do it there. They chase me, chase me out of there, right? Spider Man retire would do retire Spider Man, like having like mineral water. Mm -hmm. I got dry, right? Mm -hmm. saving the water. <laughs> Anna, you got you got yourself muted. Oh. <laughs> when you said like drinking and spider, I was thinking about the German nursery um, rhythm where they say like a spider is climbing up the wall and then she falls and then she's like drowned. <laughs> In the mineral water, it's a pleasant death, right? <laughs> <laughs> So what? what but, would, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. What would be your your public spaces? I mean, if you had to do a performance till the next meeting, where, where <laughs> would you? What what space would you choose? What place? Maybe in Warsaw, is there something? Is... In, in Warsaw is in permanent strike, so it's kind of nobody <laughs> pay attention, right? Oh, another anti-government gathering. Oh, it's only for live stream or something like this. <laughs> it doesn't matter if somebody, somebody is watching or... Yeah. yeah. Like doing a live stream performance. Something is mm -hmm. totally fam familiar to in, in our day's life, yeah? Everyone is doing live streaming. Everyone from us could do it because we have a camera, a, a handy camera, a smartphone, and can go directly onto YouTube with a live stream. Maybe a library or even like in a dark room and then having some tools for um, yeah, visualizing it in a darker area. Okay, library is great, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. And what what would you do in the library? What is maybe would you write your name with your body or would you? Mm, I was even thinking like um, extending um, like the experience of the library so that um, instead of just like being one hour in a library, it would be interesting to like probably don't move for three hours or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And to see what is happening around or mm -hmm. if you disappear, mm -hmm. maybe when you're doing this three, three hours in the library, you, you for yourself will disappear. Yeah, you get I think, into a mood of maybe, I don't know. Yeah, but I think like it will be interesting because I think like mm -hmm. libraries always have like a certain kind of feeling or mood or like if you say, okay, the 
books are like so old and like time mm -hmm. doesn't matter that much. Yeah, anymore. yeah, yeah. And would would this be the the behavior of a sculpture then, or in in which uh, which um, mm, yeah in a uh, in not a sculpture? I I would say uh, in a certain way you would also be a book because someone could approach you and yeah, okay, ask yeah. them for yeah. your story. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. Because what does this mean when you are standing three or five hours totally still and focused on one spot in public space? Yeah. What does this mean? Is this a sculpture? Is this you? Or is this, are you disappearing or appearing more? Maybe you get really a heiligen shine, you get a holy uh, aura <laughs> or something like this around you. I don't know. Mm. It always depends also on the on the people around you. Maybe some uh, Polish people pass by and, and think, who is this? And coming again and think, oh, she's really, she's getting holy and holy. And I have to pass by every 30 minutes because it's good for me. I like it. I... <laughs> there, so, was this, uh, there was this, there was this, Two years ago, in Istanbul, when the Erdogan's government wanted to close down or relocate one of the civil parks, that was, of course, connected with this, well, civil rights movement against the mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. current government. When people defending, citizens of Istanbul defending the, the, this park, I, I forgot the name, it's kind of famous. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they, Gezi, they, Gezi Park or they, Gezi mm -hmm. or something like this, yeah. They yeah. were not, they, I mean, people who kind of goes to, with, with some slogans on the street, were immediately cleared off by the police. So, so a really huge a number of people decided to just stand. So they were going out to the streets and stand, and then people were joining, and they were not standing in groups, but kind of, you know. That was before pandemic, so there was no issue of distance, but they felt like they... And probably because of the, the law says that gathering of more than three people is a demonstration already and police can come. So they were standing kind of separately, right? In a huge in a huge area, just just standing, right? mm -hmm. well, saying nothing. Mm -hmm. But in this context that everybody knew that it's, it's anti-government uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, demonstration without saying anything, without holding anything, yeah. without wearing anything yeah. special. Yeah. That's interesting, right? Mm -hmm. you know, movement mm -hmm. statement. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And there's another thing in, in this in these times we're living, everybody's rushing around. That it's actually when you're standing, it's it's, it's very performative. It's, it's not forbidden, right? You're standing just. Mm -hmm. So it's um, an, an interesting tradition um, standing in front of a public camera. There are also some, uh, also I think from the beginning uh, at the 80s, there were some British artists doing this. Or well, I think one Australian was really famous in the 90s. He was standing in front of the uh, camera of the, I think, Deutsche Bank in, in Melbourne or something like this. I, I hope I remember uh, correct, but it it was such such a position, and he was. Uh, I think after three hours or so, the securities or the police uh, took him away, uh, and 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 tried to 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 find out what this guy is doing here, and he's only saying he, he's standing here. Why why it's not allowed to stand here on this spot for uh, maybe in the next uh, ten weeks or so? Why? Why isn't isn't this allowed? And this is a, a a precise question. Why? Who's able to decide where we can maybe sit for the next year? So this yes, idea of bringing art into public space is a really great, great uh, approach and a great experience to do it. 
uh, therefore we are doing it and maybe therefore we are speaking about it uh, with you. Uh, that we always have to think also about these borders, about these uh, institutions also. It's also a critic uh, uh, in, 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 in case of these uh, institutions which are so closed, because when you are a young artist, it's, it's, it's nearly impossible to, 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 to break through these borders, to, to get the possibility to have um, to, to have a view on your work on this in, in these places. Why is this so? And why do we, in our generation or in your generation, uh, still believe in this uh, uh, way of, of 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 tradition, of institution, of being an artist when you are um, when you have the, the when you are in a in a museum or in a exhibition hall or in a curated um, exhibition uh, situation. Why is this? Why is are, why aren't, isn't it possible that we are strong enough to do our art or to do our graphic design for our, our own? Why is this so? This is a, 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 for me the most uh, uh, also challenging uh, question. Yeah. You always have this sort of securities. If it's a curator, if it's a president, if it's a policeman, we know policemen are securities. But also a curator is something like a security guide for me because he's in the position to say you are white and you are black. You are bad and you are good. You are interesting, you are not interesting doesn't make sense. So do it and do it in public space or somewhere where nobody maybe is recognizing it at the time when you are doing it. But it's enough when you like it and if you do it, it's it's the best way. Like uh, yes, painting. Um, yeah. Comparing to there are some laws that you can't like stay with a car in uh, like over three minutes and like um, other stuff. So yeah, I was like thinking how does like when something is like not average, like mm -hmm. it's average, um, that it's is, it does seem like as dangerous or um, not right. Yes, yeah, not right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, we also you. have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is um, not an average is out of the comfort zone, and maybe those institutions say, "Okay, we don't want to discomfort um, the public." Mm -hmm. That's why yeah. also every country or culture has its uh, standards for that. Yes, yeah, for sure. The code standards, yeah. But as an artist, there are no codes. There is no standard. I I think so. As also as a, when you want to be a good graphic designer or something like this, there have no. There is no limitation. I think so. It shouldn't be. You have to break through all these limitations. Otherwise, you will always be something like, okay, I do this or I work for this. But I think it's not uh, life fullness. It's not something uh, which will be rich for your life in a longer term. But maybe we can also when we when you close the circle to this, um, be it Mozilla hubs or just the yes. going in mm -hmm. VR or, or mm -hmm. digital media, that that it's the same. I mean, first we were talking so much now about space and spaces and energy of spaces and connotation of spaces. And this is why I always say it's always important what space you choose, even if it's a virtual space. And even if it's in virtual space, not like you build a room or, or a city or whatever, some nature ambient, but it's just, I don't know, white or blue or something. But it's a decision, the color and, and the grading and, and if you, the feeling is on the round or whatever, endless. Is a decision that it makes something with the spectator and, and yeah. how you perceive 
what you see and whatever is happening in this space or how you walk through, if you can go through. Mm -hmm. um, and, and this in connection with this objects, figures, whatever you put in this space. Mm -hmm. um, and the other, what you were talking now about this kind of um, not, not sticking to rules or to, I would say, fashions, mm -hmm. what, what is in. And I think this is very strongly in, in the virtual reality that there is a certain style. Totally. And, yeah. and I hate this style. And this is why I don't like virtual reality because it's always the same somehow. And I think you, I mean, it's so cool because you can do everything because you design it so you, you could do whatever and everybody, everybody's doing the same, but kind of. Yeah. And um, starting with video and like in, in public space, of course, I mean, um, you have to, to perform, if you say perform dance, whatever, somewhere you need a, need a space and it's more interesting in, in nature in a public space in, a, in, I don't know, an empty space than just in your living room. But you could find a way to do it in the living room, maybe put some things away and to the sides and I don't know, or, or in the bathroom could be more interesting actually than in the living room. Um, and you can capture it. But if, if you open it up a little bit and you say, I want to only have it as a, as a let's say video and not um, somebody looking at me, or maybe somebody is looking, but I don't mind because it's actually for the video, then this gave me a lot of freedom because I didn't need the stage and I didn't need the rehearsal space and I didn't need, the, I don't know what uh, people I'm dancing with, I'm <laughs> dancing with myself. Mm -hmm. So whatever it is, I mean, it doesn't have to be dance. But, um, mm -hmm. And now you can even do it in these virtual spaces with, with 3D and whatever, what I can't do, then you have so many possibilities and it would be too bad to kind of, Reconstruct your yeah. living room. And put it in there. Yeah, but my living room. For sure, yeah. Oh my God, no. Mm. But at the same time, it's also totally limited. Yes, the, the VR space, it's because it's technologically limited. We know it also, yeah. It's, you can do maybe everything, but it's in itself, it's, it's a limited some space, point. yeah. To some point. Yeah. But then, uh, me, for example, would yeah. you con consider changing your location of uh, having the same project, but changing the location of the, mm -hmm. like you know, like like uh, like this catwalk, right? Or or you you have those several catwalks, right? Yeah. Could could it be? I, I'm not sure that it should be. I'm not saying that it should be. That it could be. I'm just saying, could could be could it be something else? I'm not saying that you have to change it, not at all. Just considering. Uh, uh, yes, um, in fact, I am considering uh, changing it to um, perhaps uh, just just one path, but uh, in in the middle of nature, mm -hmm. like uh, like in the field of grass that I that I mentioned earlier. Okay, and uh, it uh, it it was the it was taken as um, from the reference of um, of a show that um, that that was shared to me uh, in a, in a few classes uh, earlier. Sure, sure, yeah, and, and uh, I I really like it. So, mm -hmm. so I want to do the same. Uh, I think I want to do the same to, for for my um, thesis as well. Yeah. yeah. I mean the the catwalk is okay. I mean you want to do it on a on, on these platforms, right? Yes. Okay. No, no, no. Or maybe not. Maybe no, not. Not no platform. Just a, just a like like a a, a path through through the a dirt path. Maybe that mm -hmm. even that can work. I think. Yeah. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe I, I, I worked with the with the last recordings a little bit. I played around. I want to show you some insights into our last session. I cut it. I arranged it. I also um, I also worked with it in Resolume. Make some visuals out of it. So to let's let's watch it. Let's see it. Mm -hmm. And let's try to talk about it.
I open it directly in Premiere here. Okay. Yeah, bitte. Here is the recording directly from MS Team. Um, I have to stop again because I forgot again to share the uh, audio. Sorry. So I'm back again now. Okay. Here. Ported it here. And then I also build up something like a mirror space your here. And in the back of your head, I, they are pointing towards the floor so they can, can connect to the floor. So this is the original. And here it can is. you release? Can you let go and still stand? And how does your body awareness change when you bring your attention to the front of your body? And also the front, sorry, the space in front of you. That's the space we're often more used to be aware of as we're walking forward, we're looking forward. Like this. Back. This is the original. Yep. And I also cut it the presentations out of you. Something like this. The four presentations we had had last time. Um, I built up this uh, screen, uh, four screens out of these uh, four uh, singular presentations. And I also changed the speed. Uh, idea of trying to record it. Uh, it's done by Microsoft. And working with this footage, with this screen, with this uh, also memory space of ourselves. What does this mean? I mean to bring it in a one picture role for different ideas, complex ideas. Something like this. And this is a composition from Resolume. Let's watch this one. Facing part of your head. And feel that it's facing towards the ceiling and towards the sky. So it can up. widen like a dome, like a mirror ball, widen up towards the and it's scene. audio reactive to the voice or to the sound of Andrea. While all your outer muscles, all those big muscles on the outside of your body can hang down, can melt down towards the floor. Is this now a graphic design pattern? Is this a visual and inside yourself, your bones, is this your skeleton uh, as the densest lecture of the body. Abstract. That also holds your self identity. Is it a the bones are like piece? a tree in winter without leaves. Mm. It's the base of the body. That was so what stays up. when we are dead. The skeleton mm -hmm. stays. So let's come back. So also again, this idea of of playing, playing with the with the with the footage. Playing with the footage, playing with this, also of 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 our our space. I have to change the direction. So it's now. Sync. When you see this. Yeah, 
is this okay for you to play around with the material? Sure, yeah, of course. So permanently we are producing, we are producing media uh, recordings. Also so, our, our sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uber is always uh, because yeah, starting I, the record button and then uh, we have the footage. Yeah, yeah I, I tell you, well, there is a formal, uh, the, there is a formal uh, cause for this because it's uh, this this seminar is will be sponsored by National Acad National Agency for Academic Exchange, and then the right but well I I'll, I'll tell everyone about the formal. It's not important for us, but it's important for the office people, right? But it's to totally important for us because we can we, we I mean, can work with it, yeah. <laughs> Of course, I mean, yeah. in those terms, I'm, I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm saying that then I have to, uh, I'll prepare the office, the, this office uh, a disk and they can check, uh, the, if there's a footage, yes, we did some job. Means, yeah. Right? yeah. Because they are not about concepts. Yeah. If I said, we were conceptualizing works of students, so they would ask me, Con concepts? What do you mean by concepts? But by, mm. by concepts, I mean concepts. But it doesn't work on, on clear level, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not surveying. I'm let's just... let's give them or send them this yeah. um, this uh, remixed to... remixed stuff. Oh, that could be great. Yeah. Because I have to feed the emperor what's imperial, right? Yes, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> then they can't say anything because they probably yeah, don't they, they, understand they, what it is about. <laughs> really, in in grants it works like this. You put some. This is this, right? Yeah, and you then, you have to do something, oh, right? And then like that's the substance, right? Like you produce steel or something. Like if I bring wood from the from the forest, we made this, right? They, oh, okay. Concepts? No. It's the German fairy tale, uh, the king with um, like um, the invisible clothes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Totally. Yeah. But would would be great also if one of you maybe has also the um, the idea to work uh, with these recordings. Yeah. Would be great. Yeah. I'll, to I'll show it to, to the open the space. Piece. This, this so it's a, it's one and a half hour live streaming we record and it's sure. it's a it's a film also. is this a film or not is this <laughs> it what is, is this yeah would be great to yeah also rent the cinema and to show these six recordings of our sessions as a premiere in the best cinema in Russia <laughs> okay to have the best uh, journalists, they build up a huge marketing <laughs> bubble around us, and everyone in Warsaw wants to see this movie. So it works sometimes, yeah. If you have the right, uh, right uh, networks connections, mm -hmm. but this doesn't matter. I think it's good when we are doing it, and we have the. The, the experience for ourselves, yeah. <laughs> As a teaching space, because we are in a teaching situation also. It's also always to think about. Mm -hmm. But we are also actors, actors in our play, in our theater play or teaching theater play. <laughs> So it would be great that maybe next time someone else of you is the teacher and we are the students. Change everything. Yeah. Ideas, 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 yeah. Right, that, that's a good that's a good question. I mean, maybe beside the if uh, you would uh, have to, I mean, I'm talking to the younger, younger colleagues in this virtual room. If you will have to uh, sort of came up with the idea what to do during the seminar, what it would be. I will take, well, consider that I'm, I'm, I'm really limited in my skills, right? So don't be so harsh. 
Well, I, I would uh, probably just uh, th talk about um, virtual reality because um, I'm working with it uh, right now and uh, it's it's a full in my head. So I, okay. I think I can I can easily talk about it and uh, mm -hmm. I think that that would be um, for, for the, the best. So that would make the best seminar. So, but, uh, that um, that 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 I would be leading anyway. Okay. Sure. I would do like um, smaller exercises, I would say, like for creativity, just like, um, yeah, taking like, I don't know, like a ribbon and put it in paint and then just um, try to make a movement and then just like um, everyone's kind of like looking at it and um, showing like his or her like thoughts about it. Like it would be kind of like the game activity. Like I think it's nice to have like a group work, which is which creates something. Uh, you have to try to understand the way of thinking of others to get the answer right, and then like mm -hmm. have yeah, this game. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. By the way, Anna, do you know what your family name means in Polish? Um, someone told me it's like blueberry and it comes from a tree, like a, a, something purple in the woods. Or something. Yes, exactly. It would be borówka rather than borowka. So mm -hmm. in a way you've lost your U. <laughs> and this is blueberry, right? Mm. Yeah, I see it like I d uh, it did not really believe it, but when I uh, no, go no, into the supermarket, it, 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 I see. It, it, for sure. Uh, more bo uh, Borowski. Borowski, Borowski would be something slightly different. I think it might coming from the word Bur means old word for, for the forest. Mm -hmm. Borowski, but you are Borówka, so you are, you are blueberry. So it's an idea for next time because yeah. not, the, the, the idea for this time we we we, we it was um, a task also to work with uh, Mozilla Spoke and Mozilla Hubs. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Today we we, we we lost this path a little bit. Uh, sorry for that. Um, maybe also so try to 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 work on this idea to work with directly with the stream. But not to forget also to develop something in um, Mozilla Spoke and Mozilla Hubs, because you can also integrate some parts of the movies of these recordings also into Mozilla Hubs, or uh, no. if you like to, yeah. Yeah, that, that would be please cool. use the footage. That would be cool. Let's build up some, yeah, again this idea of a memory space. Mm -hmm. That would Maybe. be cool, really, and it will help me a lot, really. Yeah, really, because I. That well, yeah, I have to do this awful administration. Yeah, and it yeah. and really it, it sounds funny, it, but it works like this. Really, mm -hmm. they they want me to point the finger on the once once I was saying that I've made we've made forty educational films and it's on a web page. Everybody can use it, even if we are in New Zealand. Yeah. And the clerk says yes, but the web page could be turned off. Okay, so what can I say in this right? It could, right? <laughs> I, I was defenseless. <laughs> but it, it's like this. Mm -hmm. So if I show them this, uh, the, the work you've created, everybody would be happy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's it's, try it's, to build up something like this. Yeah? I That's think great. this is a great yeah. exercise, yeah. but it has also uh, 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 comedy like dimension. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Also, yeah. But play around with the footage, yeah. Yeah. yeah I think I have to first get familiar to Spoke because it's not really working as I want to. And yeah, I just yeah, have okay. to pick it up. Mm -hmm. 
I also uh, copied today, um, I saw the question and I copied a um, tutorial, a uh, video tutorial from mm -hmm. 2020. I think it's uh, not so old, but it's changing all the time. Mozilla Hubs and Mozilla spoke. They are working, the programmers there are working, are busy working and developing this uh, Mozilla Hub space here. Yeah. It's an interesting community also, this Mozilla Hubs community. Mm. One uh, students of us at the University of Applied Science in uh, St. Burton mm -hmm. um, had directly contact with this uh, peer group because he built up a huge Mozilla Hub space for an Austrian pop uh, duo, really famous duo from the 90s. They um, had an, um, a new CD launch this year and the student built up for them a huge Mozilla Hub space. Mm. It's a worldwide CD launch. Gruder and okay. Dorfmeister. Maybe some of you knows them. They were famous in the 90s. This what, was what the, was the name? I, I, I Grud, Gruder and Dorfmeister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it was I, I, easy I, listening. Viennese easy listening sound. Mm. In the mid of the 90s of the last uh, century. Yeah. 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 But then working, I guess, if you. About the and sh let's share the ideas also next time, yeah. please. Let's take time and share everything, and then we record it again, and so it gets also in the recording complex and complexer mm -hmm. to work with this idea or so. Because always when we put something in, it's again recorded, and we can again, like uh, Anna says, this idea of of someone says something, and the another the another one uh, tries to find an answer for it. Yeah. But in this case, we are saying something and answer ourselves also then. Yeah, mom, that's, that's, this is pandemic art, right? Maybe it's pandemic art, yeah. Okay, maybe also mean let's fall into this VR um, also space more and more into this hubs idea if you have time. Yes, yes. Yeah, would be great. Also for all the others who are still here. Also Jakob. Yeah. Well, please also work on something. <laughs> I'll do the administration. <laughs> okay. Um, Andrea's computer um, yeah, crashed, I think, 20 minutes ago. So she's sitting now next to me, but she can't hear because uh, with this computer, it was not so easy to change it the setup that we get lost for you. Thank you very much. It was, I think it was intense. It was also great again to work with Andrea with this input. I hope it's also for you a, a good experience. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And this, great. Yeah, this, this is right. We have to put, well, put, put the body into action. Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so. Have a nice evening and a nice week and nice yeah. Easter. <laughs> celebrations and we see it next week yeah. on Wednesday. Bye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a nice Easter. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.